and not just the lions that are loud. I can hear some elephants trumpeting off in the distance. And as Tristan told you, it is indeed a time for us to go to bed. Not to go to bed, necessarily, but at least go somewhere inside safe and sound. But before we do, I have a, a character sketch, and it's called Herbie, A Study. Uh, you may or may not have noticed, some of you are very observant, I was kind of half looking up every now and again at that uh, red, orange and black clarid beetle thing. And the reason that I was doing that was because <laughs> Herbie was in front of me, and I'll explain this to you in a second. And this, it, he, he went something like this. I was very confused, to say the least. Not quite. I'm exaggerating ever so slightly, but <laughs> Herbie's killing yourself laughing. It was quite similar to that. Hey, Herbie. And I just want to tell you that that is the dedication that Herbie shows to his job. He saw a jewel beetle, and apparently one of you asked yesterday afternoon for a jewel beetle, or to see a jewel beetle. And Herbie, obviously I didn't know that, because I was not on walk yesterday afternoon, but Herbie did, and his dedication to the cause was such that even this afternoon on our sunset safari, he was still focused on collecting one for you. It was a little bit funny though, because every time, every time he got there, and of course Herbie's infectious smile makes it even more so, every time he got to it, it flew away to the opposite side of the road. It was up and down. Couldn't understand what was going on. Anyway, I'm afraid we didn't manage with the jewel beetle, but we'll keep trying. Herbie says he's determined to find you, whoever you may be. I'm sorry, I don't know who you are, but whoever you may be, he is determined to find you a jewel beetle.